you know, technically it's not a judge show because judging is usually focused on uh, technical merit, mm -hmm. and this show is really from the heart. Okay. We do jury, um, and I, I realize that's probably the difference between those terms may not be that meaningful, but we really want to focus on work that's from the heart. And so we did have some friends, uh, Sue Pierce, Diane Herbert, and Sue Reno, that juried the show. And what they were looking for were the pieces that would speak to our visitors, that there was a story to be told through the mm -hmm. artwork. And we had, um, after the call for entries, we had images from all of the artists. And the jurors logged on, and they could look at all the images, and then they would vote, and they could write comments, either private comments to themselves or shared comments to the other jurors. And then the system, the online system, tallies up all the scores. And then on the committee, we took a look at those. And from that, we did a layout and tried to choose the works that we thought would balance the themes um, and also would just create a cohesive exhibit, knowing how many pieces we could fit in the space. And so these are what, first, second, third? They're not. Um, they're, so, there's so. not a judging in that sense. Mm -hmm. We did ask our three jurors to choose a piece that was the most meaningful to them. Mm -hmm. So these are not necessarily better than another piece because this, this whole show is not about merit, whether it's you know, technical merit or artistic composition merit. This mm -hmm. show is only about what's meaningful to you. And so as Diane was looking at all of the works, this piece spoke to her the most. It's not better than another piece. And the same is true of this piece. Sue Pierce, this was the piece that spoke the most to her. So this was her favorite piece. So it's, it's not better artistically or technically, it's just the piece that was the most meaningful. And then of course the same is true for Serena. And that, that's really what separates Sacred Threads from other quilt shows. When we jury this show, it's, it's a really difficult decision because we want the artwork that's going to speak to people. That's what this is about. It's not about the merits of a piece or one is better than another. It's just about choosing the artwork that has the most to say about somebody's spiritual journey, their healing journey, their grief, or even wonderful moments in their life where they have great joy. I do work that is a reflection of my faith. I made some spiritual pieces, and I heard about the 2007 show in Columbus, and I submitted my work, and I was ecstatic that I got accepted. So I traveled to Columbus to see the 2007 show. Well, it was amazing. I mean, I had no idea that that's what this show was about. I mean, I knew my work was, was going to be in it, but I was so moved by the whole experience. And then at the reception, I got to hear Vicki speak, and I heard her vision for the show. And I knew at that point that I wanted to get more involved. I wanted to be more than just an artist. And so I e emailed them after the show was over, and I um, asked them if I could help. I'm an engineer. And so I said, you know, hey, if you need some technology stuff, I'd be happy to help. And so I took over the website and uh, ended up adding a, a gallery, and then over time, add more and more content to the website. And then I ended up building an online registration system where the artists upload all of their uh, call for entry registration forms, and then the during and the whole system is done online. So I did that for the 2009 show. And in that, just doing the technical work, I ended up just forming really strong bonds with Vicki and Wendy, the, the, her co-chair. And um, so really the three of us were a core team that made the 2009 show happen. But it was in Columbus, so it was not here. So after the 2009 show, Vicki and Wendy decided that after doing five shows, they were ready to step down and they offered me the opportunity to take it. So I decided, after praying about it for a few days, decided that uh, that would be something I wanted to do. And I was traveling with my friend Christine Adams, and uh, she agreed to co-chair. And um, so that's, you know, that's how it came to be here. I decided that in order for me to really do this, it needed to be in Virginia, because with me living here, it would have been pretty difficult to put on a, a show of this magnitude somewhere else. And because this is my beloved church, um, it was very doable for me to actually use this venue. Because, uh, you know, being very connected here and being able to really, and I knew the space, I knew how it could work. And so it was a real blessing to be able to have it here at Church in the Company.